So this is my final Caribbean Island carnival look. This is my mask up close. And I decided to just go with my natural hair and just put it like in a big, big pin up. And then for my outfit, I have this fun multicolored shirt on. I thought that was very festive. And I had to bangle out my arms. So being an island girl, um, I'm Belizean. I just love the fun colors of the tropical getaway. So this is the beauty look that I love. And I hope you love it too. Thank you so much for the contest, Miss X Belize. See ya. Hello, so today this is my contest entry for X Delise's um, Beauty Around the World contest. And I'm going to be painting um, a Caribbean inspired mask just because I love the colors of the islands and I want to do something fun like that. So I'm going to start off with a square brush and just lay. Kind of like an eyeshadow, just like that, and bring my pink and white up a little bit. Bring it up to about the brow. Okay, so we have a fun little blend right there. And then you're just going to kind of go in um, this size brush and just lay some fun little colors around it. No particular pattern. You just want to kind of get your base color on there. We can use this tail for a little bit more while we have it. Then we're going to go in, let's say, let's use this lime green, that's a good Caribbean color. And all these are, are your base colors. So you can kind of lay them anywhere. I'm going to go back in once you're done and highlight. So, see how good those show up. They show up just almost like eyeshadow. Let's get a little pink. This is wolf pink and neon. And so now you have your base colors. Um, I want to kind of make this white pop out a little bit more. Kind of blend it in with that pink a little too much. Okay. So now we have that part. So for our next hour, we're going to start with a lime green. And we're just going to apply that to the base of our eyelid. Not a whole lot. You can actually use eyeshadow for this part if you want, but for the sake of speeding up time, we'll just use paint. like that bring it up into a wing and then you're going to on the same thing we're doing this side you're just going to bring down some colors so some kind of random spots okay let's add a little Hot pink in there. So we have a 
good um, layout of pink. Let's go in and add maybe a contrasting color like purple. We'll mix some purple like that. It's kind of a lavender. We'll mix it with a darker purple also to kind of get a good middle shade. Do it just like that. Okay, so using a black, we're going to go in and just kind of define everything. Kind of make our colors pop. So for the next few minutes, I'll just be outlining. Some you can make really straight, some you can make wispy. Always want to make sure your black lines are your strong pieces because they what they're what make the design stand out. Okay, so now that we've laid our black on this side, we're going to go in on this side and do the same thing. So now we'll go in. This is the tricky part. I'll probably use a smaller brush like that size. It's really teeny tiny. Get it good and stopped up with some black paint. And so we have our black laid now. Now we're going to go in with our white. And whenever you add black next to white, um, it has the tendency to really pop out strong. Especially with this particular brand, it's Wolf FX. So if you're doing any kind of makeup art with paint... Um, the black really pops against the white. So I'm going to add... little bit more white detail and then I'll come back and show you how it looks so now you can see how the white made those black lines pop out we're going to go on this side now and do the same thing And all of the lines don't have to connect. Like if you're making a border, you don't have to connect everything. Oh. 
Okay, so now we've added a little bit of bling and some lashes. And what we're going to do now is using this matte glitter and reflex teal. That's the color. See how it shows up? We're going to go and just pat that all over for a nice, subtle shimmer. It's going to be really pretty when we put it up here because that teal color reflects off the pink. I love this as a makeup glitter because a lot of makeup glitters are so super heavy. But this one is so like transparent. It doesn't change the color of your design at all. It just gives it a nice teal reflection. Glitter is my favorite part. Glitter and the bling. So this gives us our carnival, Allen Carnival Flare. Put a little Right there, and you can see the lashes have bling on them also. So this is our look, and I'll be right back to show you our total look. 